So I wanted to give you guys 10 guinea pig facts and uh, thank you! Bless me! Alright, I've been blessed. Uh, 10 guinea pig facts that I, uh, most of them I did know, a few of them were just like the most rarest ones I could find that are interesting. So number 10 is that guinea pigs are lactose intolerant which means that they're just like me. If they eat ice cream, they have tummy cramps, no. <laughs> but they do uh, not need any milk, milk products in their diet as it does affect them. Number nine, guinea pigs can come in different breeds, such as like the Goody, uh, Goute or Goody, Smooth Coat, the Abyssin Abyssinian, uh, there's the Silkies, the Cornet, the Peruvian, the Texel. Guinea pigs range, mine are of a Goody, uh, Smooth coat cross because the goodies were I find a lot smaller, and the smooth coats I just like the smooth coats better. So that's what I have. Um, I do plan on getting maybe an Abyssinian male when I cut my herd down. I'm gonna keep two, maybe three females and get an Abyssinian male and start fresh with a new bloodline. Um, number eight not nocturnal um they don't sleep at night they take like they're up they're awake up to 20 hours a day so they're like horses they kind of only sleep like four to six hours at most and it's like mini naps like no more than like 10 15 minutes at a time uh guinea pigs play the role of yeah this is really cool this is one i didn't know so that's why i'm kind of reading off to you um number seven when guinea pigs well were first kind of introduced like people started seeing them and stuff in South America they played the role of an evil spirit an evil spirit collector for traditional healing rituals for some South Americans so they used them kind of like a physical cleanser that would like go and collect the evil spirits and stuff in your home and stuff as you were trying to cleanse your soul uh, number six when they're happy they purr so Contrary to popular belief that people think that's a threat, even I thought that was a threat for the longest time. That when I pet my guinea pig, it was like, <sighs> I used to think it was like mad at me for like touching its fur the wrong way. Um, but as I've come to know them, and as I've uh, spoken with more breeders and watched more documentaries and stuff on them, it's actually a sign of contentment. Uh, that's why they do it with each other when they're grooming and stuff. You, if you watch them and you, like, I leave mine on my playpen a lot and I record it when I'm not there to see what what they do when I'm not around so I can see naturally how their behavior is and then associate how they associate themselves with me. So, yeah, when they purr, it's a good thing. Thank God. It's mine purr a lot. So I was, I was hoping that they weren't always that mad. Um, they originate from the grasslands of South America, uh, mostly... The farthest back they can see is in the Andes Mountains. So like the grasslands around the Andes Mountains, that's where guinea pigs kind of came from. Um, they're actually not from New Guinea. They have nothing to do, no re uh, like relation to pigs at all. They think that it was from the word Guyana, which I guess is what they used, was what they called them, was like a Gu Guyana something. Also, they thought maybe guinea pig came because of the pig association came from when they were cooked, because they're, they're considered a meal in some cultures. When they cooked, and they're fully cooked, they look like little mini crispy pigs. Um, I don't eat my guinea pigs. Number four, wild guinea pigs territory can range up to 1,500 square feet per colony. A colony is usually one boar, no more than one boar of an adult uh, testosterone filled male three to five females and their offspring. As the offspring age up into three months, if there are a few females, they might stick by, but usually they all go out into their own herds. Guinea pigs have no more than 10 to 13 pigs in a herd naturally, except for sometimes when they're grazing and feeding, herds will come in together, but that when they split up and do their thing, they do their thing separately, but that's normal. They're really social creatures and, and actually, having one alone can take off their lifespan because the socializations actually encourage them to take care of themselves better. So they're kind of like people and they really do want your attention. Mine are actually begging for my attention right now because they can hear me and I'm sitting across the room from them. Uh, number three, this is really cool. I didn't know this, I always thought they ate their poop because, well, I don't know, they're pigs. Uh, food passes through their gut in a special dropping form called a caseotroph or caseotrophus, 
and they're and that it's like those little brown things that they produce they're turds and they eat this and if you can readjust it for a second dose of nutrition and calories so a lot of the time if you're wondering why they'll poop a lot in certain areas of their cage or corners they're going back to eat it and they're eating it not because they're gross but because it's good for them wow <laughs> um the oldest guinea pig, so number two, the oldest guinea pig age in record is 15 years. Um, and that was recorded in Spain. So I'm allergic to guinea pigs, by the way, so that's why I'm constantly scratching because every time I hug them, I scratch. So yeah, 15 years old guinea pig. Can you imagine? Like, I've never heard of them getting above eight. I imagine my favorite pig, Pigerton, won't make it that long because I've bred her twice and usually you only want to do it once. I did it twice because I really wanted to have an offspring by her that was a female that I could keep carrying on the line. Uh, whereas I think my young boar, Salvador, which is one of her sons that I kept, will live a quite the long life. He just seems really robust and healthy. But again, my pigs are really small and I can't figure out why mine don't grow into those big giant honking things that everybody else has. All right, an interesting fact number one, there is exactly 258 bones in the guinea pig body. So for a thing that is only like this big, there's more bones than what is in our foot, and my foot is bigger than my pigs. So <laughs> even my head is bigger than my pigs, and there's more bones in a guinea pig. So they're fragile, um, as we've all learned and experienced, and as I have one now, I have a paraplegic guinea pig that's getting a wheelchair. Um, somebody from the UK actually mailed it out today. So it should be here for probably just after Christmas. And he'll be able to scoot around his wheelchair and I'm gonna post videos about that. Um, that was our 10 interesting facts. My favorite one, I think, probably had to do with how big their territory was. Like 1,500 square feet for a guinea pig is a lot. Like, considering you how many square footage you actually put in their cage, like most people don't go above more than eight cubic square feet um, for their guinea pigs. Uh, so really, can you imagine like 1,500 square feet? That's like bigger than my apartment, I think. So um, the fact that they had that much space is pretty cool. Uh, oh, another fact that I'll just give you that I learned was that guinea pigs can actually remember trails by scent and by sight and just by like a map that they draw on their mind. So if they've traveled a path more than, like, I think they said it takes up to three times to travel a path to find food, they can remember it for several months ahead of time. So if you want and you build mazes and stuff and you put certain tasting foods and you, like, for one, they put that scent there and then you put, like, three guinea pigs in different starts and you put the food and they go through and then you move the food, they'll go back to the same one. Even though it's a different scent, that's a trail that they know. So you can do like all kinds of like obstacle courses and you can train them to do tricks and stuff because you can put, you can train them to go a certain way for the food and then put an obstacle in the way so that they'll go over it because they want to follow that exact path and keep training them to do more stuff. There's really cool videos. I've seen people like train their gay pigs to like jump over things and like mine sit up on their back feet sometimes for treats. I don't do it often because it's bad for their backs. But yeah, there's lots of things. This video ran a little long, 10 facts about guinea pigs. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or concerns or comments, leave it below, inbox, or Facebook me. All right, thanks guys, bye.